Elon Musk made a seemingly casual remark during Tesla's 2025 Q2 earnings call. I think batteries are just going to be a massive thing. But the implications of that statement are now roaring into reality with the arrival of the 2026. Tesla Super Aluminum Ion Battery is making its debut in the new Tesla model. 2. Headlines are buzzing with claims that this could be the end of lithium batteries as we know them. While some consider this a revolution, aluminum ion technology has been in development for years. The real question is whether this represents a true turning point or just another hyped up promise. In this deep dive, we'll cut through the noise and examine whether Tesla's bold move will actually transform the industry, particularly addressing if current Tesla owners will be able to benefit from this new battery without replacing their vehicles, and whether America's already fragile. Electric Grid is ready to support the surge. And for those wanting more, our next video uncovers what Tesla has been hiding in its top secret testing facilities. Let's start with the question that's plagued many Tesla owners for years. Will my current car be left in the dust every time? Tesla makes a major leap in battery tech. The answer used to be yes. Take for instance the 2020 Model 3, which came with a permanently glued lithium-ion battery custom cooling systems, and electronics coded for a specific battery chemistry. This meant any future breakthroughs would leave existing owners with obsolete tech. But what's brewing inside Tesla's engineering labs in Nevada and Texas suggests an entirely different future, one that the mainstream media has yet to fully uncover. Documents recently leaked from Tesla's internal service systems reference something called CPMI, cross-platform module interface, this isn't a futuristic concept. It's part of real, tangible engineering blueprints already embedded in Tesla's manufacturing system. Unlike the fixed structural batteries of the past, the new aluminum ion battery uses a modular design, allowing it to be swapped into Tesla's existing skateboard platforms, specifically the Model 3 and Model Y units produced after 2021. The modules are designed to be around 70 inches long and 55 inches wide weighing about 1,250 pounds, perfectly aligning with Tesla's current platforms. Think about the financial implications. Would you rather spend $5,000 to upgrade to a game-changing battery or shell out over $30,000 on a brand new vehicle? Tesla fans, drop the term CPMI in the comments if you'd be interested in upgrading your current ride rather than purchasing a new one. So why is the post-2021 build date critical? Around that time, Tesla silently standardized battery mounting patterns and cooling plate placements across factories in Austin, Shanghai, and Fremont. This wasn't an accident. It was part of a long-term strategy to make future upgrades far easier. Instead of performing invasive surgery on your car, technicians would simply unbolt the old battery and insert the new one without needing to cut, weld, or void the warranty. But hardware compatibility is only the first part of the story. The second, more complex part, is the electronics. Aluminum ion cells operate at approximately 20 volts per cell. It's far higher than the 3.8 volts seen in traditional lithium ion cells. In most EVS, plugging in the wrong chemistry would fry the entire system. However, Tesla's innovation lies in a new multi-chemistry battery management system which acts like a translator capable of adjusting real-time electrical behavior based on the installed battery type. This means a simple over-the-air firmware update could equip your 2023 Model Y to run on a 2026 aluminum ion pack as if it was built for it. No third-party vendor can replicate this. It's a testament to Tesla's foresight, knowing years in, advanced that they wanted to make their vehicles upgradable through both hardware and software. Thermal management, is another area where Tesla's engineering shines. Aluminum ion batteries are significantly denser than lithium counterparts, which means higher energy output but also more heat. To prevent overheating, Tesla developed a CPMA sled equipped with liquid microchannels beneath each module, similar to the thermal systems found in high-end computer processors. The cooling system includes active heat pipes designed to maintain battery temperatures below 113 degrees Fahrenheit, even during ultra-fast, charging at six times the current standard rates. And it's all self-contained within the battery sled, meaning it doesn't interfere with your vehicle's existing thermal loop. 
If the idea of charging your car six times faster without worrying about it, bursting into flames gives you peace of mind. Maybe six times should be your comment below. Now let's talk cost. Analysts suggest a 60 kilowatt hours aluminum ion. Battery pack good for up to 1,000 miles in real world range could be installed for just $5,000. That's less than the price of a used car and significantly cheaper than purchasing. A new model too, not to mention avoiding the headache of taxes, registration, and learning an entirely new vehicle system. This raises a compelling business question. Why would Tesla enable upgrades that could cannibalize new car sales? The answer lies in Tesla's long-term ecosystem strategy. By offering retrofits, Tesla doesn't just keep older cars on the road, it keeps owners loyal to the brand. That loyalty translates into billions in potential revenue through a high-margin service model. Imagine a million Tesla owners opting into this $5,000 upgrade. It's $5 billion without building a single new chassis. The retrofit approach, not only boosts profits but also introduces a smartphone-style upgrade path to vehicle ownership, locking users into Tesla's ecosystem for another decade or more. Picture this. It's 2027, and your dependable 2023 Model Y, which usually gets 320 miles per charge, just received a new aluminum ion battery. Suddenly, your range triples to 1,000 miles, charges to 80% in under 6 minutes. You get a fresh 8-year warranty. All of this for less than half the cost of trading in your car for a new model. This is Tesla, solving what used to be the unsolvable making car ownership future-proof. But there's still one critical decision that could change everything. Will Tesla allow this retrofit pathway, or push everyone to buy new? While a full retrofit for every old model may be unfeasible, insiders suggest that Tesla could launch a certified upgrade program for 2020 and newer vehicles complete with safety inspections and warranty coverage. This retrofit window would likely open 6 to 12 months after the Model 2 launches, allowing Tesla to capture initial new car sales first. Now let's shift focus to the second part of this equation, the electric grid. One of the biggest concerns surrounding faster charging is whether it could overload an already fragile grid, especially in areas like Texas where record breaking. Temperatures have pushed power usage to dangerous levels. In June 2023, western Texas temperatures exceeded 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and power consumption hit 85.56 gigawatts breaking records just a year after they were set. Adding millions of fast-charging EVs into that equation seems like a recipe for disaster, but Tesla is approaching the problem differently. Rather than drawing power directly from the grid at peak times, Tesla is engineering a charging network. Built around energy storage, every new supercharger V4 and beyond includes its own on-site battery, typically a megapack capable of holding 3.9 megawatts and delivering 1.5 megawatts continuously. These packs charge overnight when electricity is cheap and grid demand is low. So when you plug in for that 5-minute ultra charge, the energy is coming from a pre-charged megapack, not the grid. Tesla is producing more than 10,000 of these. Megapacks annually at Giga Texas, meaning almost every future charging station will have its own independent energy buffer. Home charging is another major component. And here's the good news. Aluminum mines efficiency means a 40-mile daily commute only uses about 10 kilowatt hours which can be replenished overnight on a basic 240 volts charger. Tesla's software even schedules. Charging during the cheapest off-peak hours, typically between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., when utility rates are often 40 to 60% lower. Although the new batteries can handle ultra-fast charging, most users will rarely need it, turning this from a constant load into an occasional capability. Now here's the hidden gem that almost nobody talks about. A fully charged 80 kilowatt hours battery can power an average American home using about 30 kilowatt hours a day for nearly three days. If just a million Tesla owners joined a vehicle two grid program, the collective storage capacity would total 80 gigawatt hours. That's roughly equivalent. 250 small coal fired power plants. In other words, instead of straining the grid, these vehicles could become mobile power stations feeding electricity back during peak times and recharging overnight. 
States like California and Texas are already running real-world pilot programs. To test this concept, the question becomes, would you feel more secure during a blackout if your car could keep your lights on, your fridge running, and your family cool? So forget the media frenzy. This is the real story behind Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion. Battery a groundbreaking solution that tackles the retrofit nightmare and infrastructure overload simultaneously, all while turning America's driveways into a giant distributed power network. Tesla isn't just releasing a new battery. They're redefining how we think about transportation, energy, and the very ownership model of the modern vehicle. And we're only just getting started. The next part will expose the secret testing programs dive into the recyclability of these new batteries and reveal the fire risk findings Tesla doesn't want you to ignore.